So let's talk about shoutouts. They are a very useful tool and a very standard thing in, on Twitch at least. And the way that it works is that you will, when a, fr a friend or a streamer of yours comes into the chat, you will shout out uh, his name and that implies that you will make a command and the command is gonna make uh, an automated message that is gonna include the link of them in the chat and that is good that that's a, a way to you know to show some love back to them because usually they are not just coming to your chat they are also coming and they are doing a host or a raid and you know as a way to appreciate that they are taking the time and the effort to do that you, you, you shout them out so the thing is do you know what's better than a shout out an awesome shout out so the other day i was thinking about the limitations on the shout out commands and it was very obvious that well it's just chat so i i was thinking that when you are doing shout outs over and over it, it just feels like it's the same and it doesn't show anything or it doesn't show the difference between the different streamers and and you have to rely on people having to go to their channel and watching their profile and reading their information and watching their videos or simply relying on your word to just follow them blindly and wait for the next time that they show up so what i thought was what if i can what if i can make something a bit more personal something that it can show like a preview of what the streamer personality is or, or the streamer content is with this idea i started to think in ways on how how can i make it work how can i make it personal how can i make like how can i give a little taste of what the content of the of the streamer that i'm giving a shout out is and i come up with this idea that what if whenever i do a shout out i can see a little piece of their content on my screen immediately that sounded a little bit ambitious i said okay what if i can choose a little piece of content and show it on on the screen and then along with that i said well why don't i also show you know maybe their their channel on the chat i mean it's good but the channel on the video on your own stream along with some other text uh i think that can illustrate much better what that streamer is all about and so yeah i i started working on that and after getting help from a couple of people that know much much more than me in terms of coding and in terms of uh how the, uh, the technical aspects of it uh we come up with this little thing that i call the awesome shout out and let me show you how it works all right so the first thing is going to streamelements.com not sponsored by the way and we're gonna click that connect to twitch button currently the widget that i made only works specifically with stream elements uh, although the code should be a should be easy to adapt to any other platform the only thing that you need to change is a little little thing there it's a little thing related to the listener to what catches the event other than that i think it's it's uh, everything else is done in code and the code is pretty much uh, general so let's go to on the left go to my overlays and then from there you can either create a new one or you can simply uh edit one now i already have one here so i'm just gonna edit that one and after that what you want to do is go go to the widgets go to the widgets uh, up there on the on the upper left section and from here you're gonna search for the custom where is it the custom widget which is on the bottom of the stream labels and right here custom widget just click that button add and then go back to the editor when you click into an object in stream elements or a layer it will give you uh, options on the left that are related to, to that object and what you want to do is go to open editor and you're gonna see four different sections those sections are html css js and fields you don't need to know any of those it's only code uh, it's different technologies actually working together to give you a web experience almost all websites use this this uh, structure now once again you don't need to you don't need to know any development any software development you all you need to do is to go to the links on the description of this video and you will see the links for the four files that you need just open them up copy the content and paste it there that's all you don't need to change anything for it to work what you need to know is that it uses 
a constant that is called videos data and that's where the magic happens you need to include the name that you are going to be comparing to so if you want to check like uh, somebody with that has upper and lower cases uh, mix the function already converts everything to lowercase and then compares against what you have here so let's say that you have uh, this one endless backlog and once it finds the name that you send into the shoutout command it will check against this and it will say oh yes endless backlog is here and then it will take the video the main text and the subtext and it's going to show it to you on the screen if you want to add someone else you will see that there are quite a few already here so if you want to add someone else all you need to do is to copy this last section up to the comma very important the comma needs to be at the beginning and then you just click at the last after the after the key character there and then paste the last element doesn't have a comma at the end all the other elements need to have a comma to separate it from the next one that is very important as for the video url what you need to do is to get the video and host it in a on a public website uh, if you don't have any don't worry because stream elements actually gives you one gb already you can take advantage of that and how do you do that well very simple up there you just go to the library section and it's gonna open up all your library from here there is a button that it says upload once you upload the file there basically you get uh, the, you get the opportunity to upload as much as you want and from and then it will go to your video tab after that you just do a right click and in the video that you want to get the URL from and then do inspect and this is going to bring up the developer developer and don't get scared the developer tools and right here you will see video controls blah 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 and then you double click this URL that URL is the one that you can use to play the video over the internet so you copy that one oh sorry double click copy and that's it just go back to your widget open editor js Go scroll down to your matrix and just you know just change the URL. It needs to be inside the double quota. Sorry, double quotes. So now that you have the code and everything ready to go, it's all a matter of using the command SO, exclamation mark SO, and then the name Crescentine. In my case, it's Crescentine. By the way, shout out to her, she's an amazing streamer. And this is what you will see. yep that's it all right so that's the awesome shout out and i hope you really really like it i put a lot of effort to learn or relearn the html and css and js and if it wasn't for all the help of the people like mr boost and technologer I, I wouldn't have uh, actually made it i think at least not in the time that i made it and if you have any questions, as I said before, just feel free to drop by our Discord or if you want to check out our Twitch channel, you will find it down there, somewhere. I'll put it somewhere.